Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Uh, on, on my channel, I've already start, started a, uh, a bunch of series, uh, video series, like the Leeds Code one, so the Weekend Challenge uh, Contest, Leeds Code one. Another one is uh, CSS ones and uh, JavaScript.info one, interview, and other uh, BFE.dev questions. So, f seeing this video is about a new series. It's about uh, the human interface guidelines from the Apple. Um, the reason for this one is that uh, I recently found an Apple was web pages of very super cool examples to learn learn things from. Um, no matter how cool uh, our technologies are. We must create a beautiful product, right? So about the beautifulness, that Apple is the king of the beautifulness. So even we are creating websites, um, I think that uh, we'd better, um, how, how should I put it? Uh, we should create as closer to the native, native apps as possible, right? Because users are using the native apps, the operating systems, the system UI, uh, every day, so they are used, used to it, and it's better we keep consistent with that. So in this video, um, in this series of videos, I'm going to cover the human interface guidelines from the Apple. Uh, it's public, so if you're interested, I definitely encourage you to read through it, though I don't have any native uh, development experience, though I've created uh, some some example apps like with Flutter, with something. I haven't touched the Swift UI yet. Yet, um, yeah. Anyway, let's first start with the iOS one. Okay, so this in this video it only covers uh, the themes. So th the themes and the design principles. This is a little, a little vague actually. Uh, not that, <laughs> not that do easy to understand. Let's begin. So uh, in iOS design, there are three themes we need to pay uh, pay attention to, or how should you say, these are three matrix of how to judge if a app is well designed or not. The first one is clarity. So yeah, and throughout the system, text is legible at every size. The icons are precise and lucid. We should use uh, uh, the right negative space, font, colors, yeah, so to subtly highlight important content and convey interactivity. So, so made it clear. Yeah. Another one is difference. Um, fluid motion and crisp, beautiful interface help you people understand, interact with the content while never competing with it. Mm, this is a little, I, I, I don't know what it is. So minimal use of Bezos gradient will ensure the content is paramount. Hmm. So things must be clear, and we have and uh, and the con and the controls should be, uh, how should I say, visually, not visually, yeah, visually, uh, differentiated. So so users could know where to tap, right? Where to interact. Mm -hmm. Difference means this: where to interact if I want to do something. But clarity means this is interact interactable. This could be clickable, and this means a user should instantly know where to to click. Okay, depth. Um, depth actually is means the uh, the transition, right? If you change the screen, like going to another screen, you could go back, right? So that kind of contest is very important with the depth. Uh huh. It's the depth of your app. So clear um, difference depth. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so the next one is design principles. There are some, the words actually is the first time I've seen it. This is uh, aesthetic, <laughs> aesthetic. Okay, aesthetic integrity means how well an app's experience and the behavior integrate with its function. Uh huh. Ah, uh, yeah, it's well designed, right? Uh, uh, Detail to the font, and detail to the color, right? It may, is, is, here is an example. If you're creating like a serious task app, 
to, to keep them focused, then you should use the uh, 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 use these subtle unobstru unobtrusive graphics, standard controls, predictable behaviors. Not so fancy. If you're creating a game, you should be as fancy as possible. So this is a aesthetic integrity. It means function sh and should comply with uh, oh, the, oh, the design should comply with the uh, function. Okay, consistency. Okay, should be familiar and should con should convey with the uh, familiar standards and the paradigms. Be using a system providing interface elements, well-known icons. Yeah, this is what I'm think is what I'm talking about. Even if we're creating websites, it should be uh, consistent with the system UI as uh, close as we can, so people don't get confused, right? If you're using an icon, you you know that three dots means a menu, or the hamburger bar means a value. Uh, means a menu, right? And the native apps often you create the beautiful uh, page screen transitions, right? Yes, instantly slide in from the right, and then tap the close button, and walk slide 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 out to the right. And because since uh, users are, are used to that by interacting with so many native apps, to us the web application creators should also try to mimic that behavior okay okay so this is the style of my video I'm going to read through the uh, interface uh, human interface guidelines and pointing out as uh, uh, the perspective of a uh, web front and a developer okay next one direct manipulation the direct manipulation of on-screen content is engage people and facilitates understanding Direct manipulation. What does it mean? Mm, I don't know. User experience direct manip manipulation when they rotate the device or use gestures to affect the on screen con. Uh, I don't know. Direct manip manipulation. This is for iOS, uh, actually. So if. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what this is about. For des desktop. Applications, they actually they are interacting with your apps uh, through a keyboard or uh, a mouse, right, or a trackpad. But on iOS devices, uh, they're using touch screen, so they will touch your buttons, click your button, uh, click your toggles to uh, directly. So that means direct man manipulation. Feedback. Interactive elements are highlighted briefly when tapped. Progress integrators communicate the status of long-running operations oh, well this is a uh, this is also str uh, addressed by Google's like uh, guidelines of, of the idle process of the idle uh, uh, I mean the uh, me metrics but idle uh, it means that when user interacts with your with your buttons or anything you should give them the instant feedback if it takes time use indicators loading indicators yeah as the progress indicator progress indicators here means yeah don't don't let them think that your app is broken when they tap something no response that is not good okay metaphors people learn more quickly when an app's virtual objects and actions are metaphors for media experiences um yeah yeah this is hard actually Mm, not, nowadays that uh, people actually there are not so many new uh, I would say interaction UI uh, creating it every day they're using more like uh, the the uh, controls from the old days yeah they convey they comply with the uh, they comply with the systems UIs like you see the sliders the switches yeah don't invent new ones okay Use control, user control. The best apps find the correct balance between enabling users and avoid unwanted outcomes. It should be familiar, predictable, and confirming. Um, yeah. As web developers, we don't create new controls, so we are using the native uh, controls uh, as the native apps. So that's not a big problem. Um, a changes usually happens when the native apps creating something pretty cool and new, like the swipe to delete, delete, right? Well, that takes time. The users take some time to get used to that, 
And also the other one is the Twitter swipe to re, uh, uh, refresh, right? Uh, swipe down to re, uh, drag to refresh. Yeah, that's kind of metaphors. And user controls, yeah. Um, yeah, I think these two are similar. Metaphor. Uh, um, anyway, so we don't don't create a new uh, user how should I say, new controls uh, without uh, sh without confidence, right? Unless you really need it, and unless you're really sure that it helps, create one. If not, use the uh, old school controls. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm not sure this video helps you, um, but I'm going to continue creating these videos. I'm sorry if it don't help you. Um, there are actually a lot of other uh, uh, topics like uh, the app architecture, launching, onboarding. It's pretty cool, actually. It's very useful for web apps as well, especially when we're currently uh, like uh, pr uh, progressing, uh, uh, progressively creating uh, web apps with the PWA stuff, yeah. And loading, also, we're using a lot of APIs, right? Modality, this is commonly used. And navigation, this is the actually the uh, hurting point of web applications that because the browsers have the native native uh, navigation buttons, it's not very cool, actually. Request permission, settings, user interactions. Okay, let's jump through directly to the bars and views. You can see that navigation bars, the search bars, stuff like this. Okay, we'll cover this uh, in the follow-up videos. So stay tuned. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.